Okay, so it is now 12.12. I'm making a quick lunch for the kids. And it's quick because I have a sourdough starter. If you don't have this, it wouldn't be that quick. But I'll show you what I'm doing. My sourdough starter on the stove. It gets a little crusty overnight. So I will, uh, and of course I feed it every day, so it's already been fed from yesterday. I'll just blend all those crunchy bits in. When they cook, you don't even notice they're there anyway. So I'm just gonna stir it up. It'll actually eat up these harder bits if you leave it anyway. So I put my pan in the oven. Now it's a steel pan. If it's aluminum, it won't work. You either need cast iron or steel or something that'll hold heat. Yeah. I got mushrooms here. I opened up a, um, like a pizza mix pack. Well, maybe you can make pepperonis. It is pepperoni. Put that in the garbage for mama. I've already shredded um, half of the mozzarella here and I cut up a tomato and I have my garden select tomato basil okay so I got my pan I just threw it in there when I started the cheese so it's nice and hot I'm gonna grab that with my oven mitts and I'll be right back I took my hot pan of the oven I'm gonna drizzle some oil on it just to get a flavor and I'm going to pour some starter on it. And this really depends on, of course, how much starter you have and how big your pan is. And spread it out. Because your pan is hot, it should kind of almost start to cook. I don't want to use up too much because I'm going to have to make more starter and I need a little bit left behind. Looks about right. Now I can feed this again and have it for my recipe tomorrow. I'm going to put some salt and pepper and Italian seasoning over top. Give my crust some good flavor. This is the kind of pizza that doesn't really have a big edge because it's only as thin as you make it here. And this will go in the oven for 10 minutes to get a bit crispy. Then we can put our toppings on it. And when we do that, we'll put it back in the oven until our cheese melts. And then we're done. Okay. Almost forgot one part. A little more olive oil on top to give it a little more flavor flavor. And it's ready to pop in the oven. I'm going to put mine to the very top where it's good and hot. So yesterday I started this bread, sourdough bread. I had this on the stove all night warming up. It got a little hurt. Well, I wouldn't say hurt, but it's crusty on the top. So I put a damp tea towel on it 20 minutes ago or so. Um, I'm now ready. I don't really have a loaf pan accessible. I have them somewhere in this house. But um, I thought if I divided it up into maybe fours... Um, We'll see what we can get for bread. I don't know what we're going to get. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I just grease this with coconut oil. I'm going to pop this out of here now and see if I can form it into some shapes that will fit up there and let it raise again for another four hours. Rolls. Um, I'm going to put them on top of here. It's nice and warm here. Put the tea towel on it and let them raise until dinner. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> you can see it's sort of lifted. Like it can just lift right up. So that's my crust and I'm gonna put the toppings on. I put my spaghetti sauce on. I got this recipe from Farmhouse on Boone and she says the spaghetti sauce might make it a little bit soggy, but we did this the other day and it was absolutely delicious. I don't see any problem with it. Tomatoes, mushrooms, um, pepperoni salami stuff and cheese, of course. Now in the oven till the cheese melts, usually 10 minutes. All finished. I'm just gonna pop it on my pizza board so I can cut it. I'm not gonna cut it in my good pan and we'll be ready for our lunch. Okay, so it's been about four hours. I took the tea towel off. Um, I guess it's been about three hours. I took the tea towel off. The tea towel is starting to stick here. I took it off earlier and wet it and put it back when it dried again. I think they're almost ready. I'm going to give it another hour and uh, I'll wet that tea towel again. And so they're kind of up to here. I'm going to see if they can get right to the, the very cusp of this. It's a very warm area, so... They should do well. Too many conference calls near dinner time. I nearly burned my, my rolls, but I uh, I got them. They look pretty good. And uh, they're cooling down now, so they'll be ready to eat pretty soon. Don't forget to hit the like.
Button.